This is Star Talk. Let's check out what Jared has to ask. And and Jared, Jared what's his last name? Uh, Jared just goes with Jared, man. He's like Cher and Madonna and Madonna. And, yeah, okay, right. Good. You uh-huh. know, it's just Jared. Okay, uh, Jared says. I guess both Madonnas had only one name. I guess <laughs> now that I think about it, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <Right. laughs> Which one is more famous, by the way? That's a good question. So here's what Jared says. Uh, hey Neil, quick question. I love his conversational tone. Huh? Nice. Hey, Neil, quick question. As I am sure you get tons but do of... do I have a quick answer? See, that's what it really comes down to in the mm. end, but go on. I'm sure you get tons of questions, uh, but with the recent claim that the Higgs had been discovered over 99%, not quite 100%, a thought occurred to me. If the Higgs gives mass to objects and the universe is normally symmetrical, i.e. matter, antimatter, is there an anti-Higgs? If yes, could a theor- theoretical anti-Higgs generator reduce mass enough to allow faster than light travel? Oh man, this dude thinks he is the chief engineer on the Starship Enterprise. I'm thinking, and, and depending on his age, he's one of these kinds that I wonder what he's building in his basement. Oh, I know what he's smoking in his basement. <laughs> I don't know what he's building in his basement, okay. but I know what he smoked before he tried to build it. <laughs> um, all right, so basically, let's talk about this anti Higgs, anti matter. Could this happen? Yeah, so the Higgs particle is what's called a boson, right. and, and there are some particle physics classes that I never took. And so some of what I know there, I learned osmotically from particle physics colleagues of mine. The rest I've learned formally. So I may be stepping across that edge right now. Okay. But Higgs being a boson, a boson is a class of particle that does not itself have an antiparticle. Okay. Like a photon, light, is, or is a boson. There's no anti-photon. Right. All right. So... Uh, so what you're so the the premise here would be that same boson would be granting mass to an antiparticle just as it would be granting mass to a particle. Gotcha. So that's my answer. And it, it, if I'm wrong, one of my physics colleagues will write we'll it. We'll tell, tell you, Derek. Yeah, yeah. But that, I that's so that's because of the class of particle that it is. Right. So he the, so so uh, whatever's going on in his basement, he has to make he has to modify his plans. Yes. And please stop it. Whatever you're doing <laughs> in your basement, please. Okay. We don't want to, you know. Okay. <laughs>